The southwest of England is particularly best well known for its beauty and for tourism and people visiting. Not best known for power generation. However, in this case, this is the site that was chosen to put 20 megawatts of power down. In the UK, the store application is the short-term operating reserve that's run by National Grid. When there's peak demands for power into the National Grid, that's into the whole electricity system in the UK, they have the flexibility to start some generators across the country that feed in at very short notice to balance the grid and make sure there's no, uh, no blackouts or brownouts in the system at all. Our client approached us a year ago uh, and asked us how we could best produce 20 megawatts of power at 33 kV. Uh, the solution we came up with is the use of FG Wilson generators with COMAP controls. It's a straightforward, simple way of producing a lot of power at short notice. So over a space of some 20 weeks, we got the generators, the HV, and prepared the civil plans, located the generators, put them all on site, and now they sit there just waiting for a, a remote signal from National Grid, and they'll start and ramp up to, to, to full power. Another thing that the generators can do is FFR, this is frequency response, whereby there's a, a relay from COMAP inside the generator control, such that if the frequency drops just marginally below the standard 50 cycles, rather than wait for a signal from the outside world, the generators will start automatically. The 20 megawatts of generators comprise 40 500 kilowatt FG Wilson generators, each in their own individual enclosure, and controlled by an IntelliGen NTC BV controller, and the display itself is an Intellivision 5-inch display. When the generators get a call to start, each generator starts remotely, uh, runs up to speed and then synchronises to the grid supply that's sitting on its motorised breaker. As soon as it's in parallel, the generator breaker closes and immediately the, the intelligent controls ramp the engine up to its full rated power, giving some 20 megawatts in total. When running under FFR, that really can be quite a challenge. There is just 30 seconds for the engines to get their start signal to start, synchronise and run up to their full output power, something now that we regularly achieve in something like 24 seconds. Getting the 20 megawatt output, of course, is not just a matter of putting the 40 generators on the ground. We have to provide an overall control system, and for that we went to IPU, who have put us together a single central control unit that takes the start signal from National Grid and then commands the 40 generators all to start. The central control system not only controls the generators, but in the event that one failed or stopped, it asks the remaining 39 to do a little bit more, which they can do, thereby ensuring that the 20 megawatt output is maintained at all times. We chose come up controllers because some years ago when we did our very first site, we investigated the alternatives and come up then with IPO were extremely helpful. Now over the years we've done some 20 sites, some 800 generators now, and every single one has had a come up controller in. So it provides excellent flexibility, it provides excellent quality and excellent reliability, but more than anything, the background information has been first class. So whenever we've come across a problem, COMAP have been really good at solving our problem in a sensible and timely fashion, such that we've never had, we've never missed a deadline. And the machines, all the machines we've put in so far, have run 100% without any controller failures at all.